Hi, I'm Brett Middleton. This is a video update on more information on the soot control problems with exhaust gas recirculation or EGR on turbo diesel engines. And it's a big hot topic on the internet um, with the cars we do a lot of modifications on, like my turbo diesel Forester rally car, the Subaru Outback, um, the turbo diesel Liberties, the Foresters, um, and also I've already said that, but what I'm talking here is the 2.5 litre Triton, which is also common on the Challenger and the Pajero models, um, and of course, great wall turbo diesel. This particular car had a custom ECU tune done by us quite some time ago, um, and we've just inspected the car because one of the things as part of that tune is we modified the factory settings for the exhaust gas recirculation to significantly reduce the buildup of exhaust gas recirculation which causes the soot in the inlet manifold and have a look at the still photos at the link at the bottom of this video page on our Facebook album and you'll see just how bad it can get. But what happens is the exhaust soot goes through the exhaust gas recirculation, comes back in through the inlet manifold and mixes with uh, engine by by which has got oil in it and then that forms a black paste that then gets stuck on the inlet manifold and slowly restricts the inlet side to your engine. What I can show, and it's a little bit difficult to see, but right down inside there, past the uh, butterfly, um, is where the EGR valve fits back um, comes back in. So if you can imagine back here where the EGR valve is bolted onto the side of the inlet manifold, is where the soot starts to build up and then it starts contaminating all this side of the inlet manifold. And I'm pleased to say on this particular car, it's significantly better than what it would have been if it hadn't had our custom tune. The client's probably going to get us to check it in another uh, five or ten thousand k's anyway. Um, but if you've got a turbo diesel that's done anywhere between fifty and seventy thousand k's or more, um, every chance that if you look at these still photos, you'll see just how bad the inlet manifold can be and why your car is possibly blowing a lot of black smoke or not going as good as what it should be. The car we had in today earlier on, um, 170,000 kilometres from a previous owner, the guy just couldn't understand why the car wasn't accelerating and yet when it runs properly, the car being a challenger should accelerate quite easily with even a load on the back of it. When we had a look at it, it was particularly bad. So if you've got a turbo diesel and if you've got these cars that we do a lot of custom ECU tunes on, you will benefit with the tune to improve its power but most notably torque. Um, but the big advantage at the same time is the long-term savings in having to pull all this manifold apart and have it all um, cleaned out again from a chemical and acid and a sandblast point of view. There is no system available in Australia that you can clean this out properly whilst it's connected to the engine. Um, so there you have it. A bit more information about EGR. Hopefully you'll learn more as we go along. Have a look and do a search on YouTube and our other video channels. You'll soon understand just what we're talking about. But for now, no matter where you are in the world, understanding more about your turbo diesel, follow us and follow us our Australian Rally Championship with our turbo diesel Subaru Forester. But of course, go to our Facebook page, have a look at the albums and just see some of these pictures. But of course, subscribe to our video channel so you get regular updates. And for today, I'm Brett Middleton in Sydney, Australia. I hope wherever you are in the world, this has helped you. Bye for now.